folks. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for our latest presentation of NBA basketball. I'm Brian Anderson, joined by Hall of Famers Doris Burke and Grant Hill and the fourth member of our crew, reporter Allie LaForce. A look at Cleveland's opening lineup. At the four and the five, the lengthy pair of Mobley and Allen. Mitchell on the wing with Struess. And it's Garland in at the point guard position. And for Brooklyn, Schroeder and Thomas make up the backcourt. Nicholas Claxton out there with Dorian Finney-Smith. And it's Bogdanovich in at the small forward. And certainly on paper, this game is something of a mismatch, Doris. Uh, yes, it is. But it's always dangerous when one team is expected to win by a large margin. Because why? Human nature. Can't skip steps. These are still professional basketball players. That underdog can be a real dog. And Allen gets it to go. Well, how about the touch inside from Jared Allen? This guy has got such length and mobility. You add that touch and look out, folks. He's going to be tremendous. Now here's Finney Smith. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. All right, Grant, when you look at the Nets rebuild, what are you seeing at this point? Well, they gave up a lot of young players and draft picks to assemble a big three. And, of course, that didn't quite work out. So now they're in that middle ground, which sometimes can be a little tough. Add to the fact that they're in New York, the fans and media are anything but patient and forgiving. And Doris Cleveland looking to balance their roster, trying to make sure the pieces fit. And that's been the concern, right, B.A.? Because there's been some positional overlap, particularly in the front court. And this is where roster construction truly matters in the league. And Doris, who can forget the 2016 Cavs? The team that brought Cleveland their first NBA title. And not just basketball. The city hadn't won a championship BA in any sport for over 50 years. And for LeBron, a homegrown talent, to do that with Kyrie, that is a team that will always have a special place in Northeast Ohio lore. Schroeder can't get it to go. The Cavaliers have gone just two for four from the floor. From seven feet away, and Mobley gets it to go. Well, you see the confidence from Evan Mobley right now, ready to shoot as soon as he touches the basketball. Here's Finney Smith. No good from outside. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Stolen by Schroeder. And pushing it up the floor. Here comes Brooklyn. And the shot's good. We are talking about a very solid passer at his position. Schroeder identifying an open teammate. Cleveland has gone one or two from three-point land so far. And the call will be against Nicholas Claxton. That's his first foul of the game. Johnson, he's checked in for Bogdanovich. And Cleveland with a change here, too. Levert's checked in. And another miss by Cleveland. Schroeder with it. Struce covering. Brooklyn has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Doris, someone who plays within himself. Nick Claxton knows what his team wants from him. There's real value in a player understanding his role, and that's Nick Claxton. Sprint the floor, rebound, rim protect. He knows who he is and what puts him on the floor. Oh, nice ball movement by Levert. A welcome sign for this team. 55 seconds left to play in the first. Here's Thomas. And the rebound goes to Cleveland. Well, you simply have to shake that one off, right? You can't let that kind of missed opportunity bother you. And there's Struess. That one's good. On the assist from Levert. Struess has got five. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. Here's Thomas. The rebound by Allen. Cleveland has gone two for four from range to start things off. Down low. And it falls. Two for three from the field so far. Boy, that's a little bit of toughness and concentration. Jared Allen under duress of the defense. Nicely done. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Cavaliers. So Brooklyn going with almost an entire new group here. Clowney, he's checked in for Claxton. Bogdanovich comes in for Finney Smith. Williams is checked in for Thomas. And Ben Simmons subbed in for Schroeder. And a new group getting ready for the Cavaliers. Wade, he's checked in for Jared Allen. Niang comes in for Evan Mobley. Apuro is checked in for Struess. And Darius Garland subbed in for Donovan Mitchell. Picked it out of midair! Well, a good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Cavaliers ahead. 
up three. And we'll be back short. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Cavaliers. Well, you got to be impressed with how selfless they've been so far. Their passing has been simply outstanding. Yeah, and their assertiveness in the paint so far tonight has been impactful. They're really making it hard for the interior defense. All right, on the floor for Cleveland, getting going in the second. Garland and Levert team up in the backcourt. Okoro is out there with George Niang, and it's Wade in at the five. The shot by Levert, no good. Tried to come right back at him with the three. Not that time. Johnson with it. He's picked up by Garland. Here's Clowney. He's rebounded by Okoro. Pass to Nia. Knocks it loose. It's stolen by Johnson. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. The Cavaliers are having success. Point guard Darius Garland said, we're building something here and we've come a long way. It feels amazing having our own legacy. We're just trying to keep it going. The whole city is behind us. And Brian, they know there's still work to do. And they've got no problem with that, Allie. Thank you. That'll drive your coach crazy, failing to box out. And to me, this is a common theme that's running through the league right now. Guys looking to leak out rather than box out. All right, Doris, you look at the criteria for traveling in the NBA. You think it's called often enough? You know, B.A., I'm not sure of the answer to that. It's amazing to me the speed with which these officials have to make the calls. Sometimes you go back and watch it. What looks like the travel is not or what's not called a travel is. This is actually a harder issue than people think. And there's a whistle. That goes on Cam Thomas. That's his first foul. Finney Smith checked in for Brooklyn. Evan Mobley, he's checked in for the Cavs. Okoro comes in for Levert. Okoro outside. Takes the three. And once again, off the mark by Cleveland. The Nets have gone two of four here in the second quarter. And pushing it up, here's Cleveland. That's good from Allen on the assist by Mobley. Allen's got six. Wow, you have to love the decision-making of the big man, Mr. Mobley. What a pass. And the timeout called here by Jordy Fernandez. He'll take the opportunity to regroup. Brooklyn trailing. Well, you look at Evan Mobley, Doris. So agile for his size. This is a young man, Brian, with so much upside. Defensively, he can guard on the perimeter, slides his feet, keeps his balance, contests without fouling, and he's growing every repetition on the offensive end. I can't wait to see his future. Here's Claxton. Misses the three. The Cavaliers have gone three for seven here in the second quarter. Here's Struess. Oh, and Johnson with a block. And he recovers it. And count it. The shot is good, and he'll go to the line. Cleveland shooting their first foul shot of the night. Brooklyn making a switch here. Bogdanovich is checked in. Garland's checked in for the Cavaliers. Free throws drop for Struess. Doris, it's interesting, but the Nets franchise has never won an NBA championship. That's absolutely correct because their titles came before the merger. Now, since they've joined this league, they did go to the finals for a couple of times, had Jason Kidd, who was the driver of success, but no championship in this modern era. Come on, come on. The second effort. Brooklyn with the board. Now Finney Smith. Six points for him. Outside shooter. The three. Mobley grabs the board. Here's Allen. Cleveland again missing. Hey, sometimes the best looks don't equate to points. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. Cleveland on top, up by five. And we'll see you back here after the break. Third quarter action in just a bit. They're thinking about the shot.
second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. One of the stories here, Max Struess. Man, is he getting it done today? The numbers say it all. He spent the first half playing efficient ball. I think they've taken their time. They've showed incredible patience. It's a sign of a well-coached ball club. Schroeder and Thomas make up the backcourt. Dorian Finney-Smith is out there with Nicholas Claxton. And it's Bogdanovich in at the three, the small forward. And that's the group for Jordy Fernandez as we begin the second half. All right, let's get a report from Ali. Nick Claxton, despite his relatively slender frame, is a hard-nosed defender. He said, I bow down to no one. Every time I step on the court, I always have that chip on my shoulder. That's just the fiery competitor that I am. At the end of the day, I know what I'll hang my hat on, the defensive side of the ball. Brian? Okay, Ali, thanks for that. Garland with the ball. Claxton picks him up. And the ball out of play. The Nets will have it. Here's Schroeder. Grant, the Cavs making the playoffs the last two years. A big deal in Cleveland. Well, outside of years with LeBron on the roster, they hadn't made the postseason since 1998. But this group of Cavaliers are making their own history now. And, yep, it's good. There is a level of physicality, and the frame of Donovan Mitchell allows him to finish through contact. Ben Simmons is checked in for Thomas. And Cleveland with a change here, too. Lavert's checked in for Mitchell. Bogdanovich down low, covered by Struess. And he'll take a trip to the line for two. Clearly got fouled on that shot. Well, the Nets are still feeling the ramifications of trading for James Harden, Doris. Well, B.A. consider in that trade, they gave away Jared Allen, Harris Lavert, and four. Count them four first-round picks for a total of just 80 games played for James Harden. The reverberations are still being felt. There's a lot to like about Bogdanovich's game. He's a skilled scorer. He's a capable defender. And I think there's some leadership qualities there. And stolen by Simmons. Bogdanovich with it. Now Levert defending. Pass to Claxton. From downtown, drops in the three. Claxton's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Such a boost to this offense when this guy can knock down uncontested threes. And we've got a whistle. He was fouling with a purpose. And in that spot, in that situation, it's got to be a transition take foul. Brooklyn shooting their sixth attempt at the free throw line tonight. Doris in a league that glorifies offense. You have to appreciate what Finney Smith brings to the defensive end. The B.A., one of those guys who brings versatility and perhaps more importantly, dependability. You can put him on the ball, off ball, guards, even bigs. You talk about a true do-it-all defender, that's Dorian Finney Smith. Mobley down low. Finney Smith's there, and Mobley gets it to go. Mobley's got his second basket of the game. Claxton attacking. And Claxton throws it down. If there's a teammate open on the floor, Simmons will put it on time and on target. Outside for Levert. Here's Garland. Oh, Simmons with the block. Here he goes. And slam dunk by Simmons. We've seen five lead changes so far. Neither team able to pull away. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to come down to the wire. 40 seconds left in the third. Stolen by Schroeder. Bogdanovich with it. Struess covering. Schroeder passes to Bogdanovich. There's the three. That one falls. Coming off Schroeder's feed. Schroeder's got five assists tonight. Oh, you love to see Bogdanovich stroke that deep ball. What an accomplished score from distance. Thomas, he's checked in for Brooklyn. And a switch here also for Cleveland. Mitchell's checked in. Cavaliers trail by four. Cleveland shooting their second and third free throws tonight. That free throw no good. One of the things about Donovan Mitchell's game that I love is he's got elite athleticism. There is speed, there's burst, and there's physical strength. This guy is very capable offensively. Here's Finney Smith. No good with the triple. 
Mobley against Thomas. Count the basket and the foul! It's on Nick Claxton. And you have to love to focus. He gets hit, but converts it anyway. Cleveland shooting their fourth attempt at the line tonight. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. There's Bogdanovich with the three. The shot misses. That's the end of the third, and it's tied up. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get set for quarter number four. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. And so it's Garland who brings up the ball for Cleveland. On the court right now for Cleveland. Struess at small forward with Mobley next to him. Garland and Mitchell, the talented one and two. And it's Allen in at the five. Tremendous balance and body control. Darius Garland, no stranger to finishing inside. Here's Finney Smith. Well placed jumper from the free throw line. Boy, the bounce pass put right on the money. Nice assist. Outside Garland. The three is up. Brooklyn pulls it in. Bogdanovich with it. And the Nets tack on two more. Trading the lead back and forth. Neither side is willing to back down. And right now you love the chess match, right? The ability of each side to adjust to what the other is doing. The Nets with the lead. It's Thomas on the wing. Mobley grabs the board. Mobley's got a rebound number five here tonight. From deep, Mitchell. Oh, Mitchell with the smooth stroke from distance. Such a clutch shooter. This guy lives for these kinds of moments and delivers. Inside. And Coxon gets it to go on the assist by Thomas. Coming down the stretch, it's still anyone's game. Incredible effort and energy on both sides. These guys must be gassed. And Mobley gets it to go. In the painted area, Mobley just so effective. Hard to cover a guy who's got that kind of size so close to the cup. There's Bogdanovich with the three. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about efficiency. And defensively, how do you leave him that open in crunch time? Mobley down low. He's marked by Finney Smith. Mobley, no good. Here's Thomas for three. Mobley grabs the board. Mobley's got six rebounds in the game. Here's Mitchell. And too long on the shot. Well, terrific defense. They obviously respect his ability and just want to make it tough. Here's Bogdanovich. And it's good. Talk about stepping up in a big way. I'll tell you, it takes confidence to pull the trigger in that situation. You love guys who relish the moment. Pass to Mitchell. Mobley outside. Fires the three. Claxton with a rebound. And an intentional foul right there. And Jordy Fernandez calls timeout. And a great call on his part. This is the time you want to be in sync right here. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Ali LaForce. Well, over the break, I listened in on Jordy Fernandez's huddle. He asked his team to take in the moment, saying, this is what it's all about, guys. This is why we work so hard and why we love this game. Embrace it. Back to you guys. All right, Allie, thanks once again. And now they decide to foul intentionally. I mean, I'm just not sure what he was thinking right there. I mean, he needs to get his head in the game. To the middle. Here's Garland. Oh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Well, give Darius Garland credit for looking to score. He forces the defense into action. That's good. Going one of two from the line. And that narrows the lead down to just three. And by missing that free throw, now a three could even the score. Not ideal. Brooklyn, no good that time either. And there's only one option. They need a triple. You've got to keep your composure and execute to get a quality look from three. And they go to the intentional foul. He hits the first one. And that brings him within two here. And that 
one goes in. Two from the line that time. You get the sense this guy relishes getting to the free throw line in these tough moments. You talk about clutch, this guy is in. And now we've got an intentional foul. Yeah, just a must-foul situation to stop the clock. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to go. And he misses the second one as well. So 0 for 2 that time. Here's Mitchell. Good! He's been playing great unselfish basketball. Really putting the rock in the hands of the right shooters. And he has shown a terrific feel for how the defense is playing him and then taking advantage of that. And the timeout called here by Jordy Fernandez. Great time to call his guys into the huddle at a very tense moment in this game. All right, what are the considerations at this late juncture? Down one with just enough time for a couple passes and a shot. We'll see what they can do. He drops the first one, and that'll put him up two. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. And so the big win by Cleveland in a tight game. And this was an emotional win for them. No doubt about it. <laughs> Just a fantastic accomplishment. You love how they just diffuse the energy in this arena. And that about wraps it up. For Doris Burke, Ali LaForce, and Grant Hill, and all of our crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.